It's another Sunday, bloody Sunday in Lincoln. Eric Chenander gets the axe and he's gone and packing his bags to another town. Can Nebraska, with a bye week and a new coordinator, turn it around? Looking forward to their October 1st matchup against Indiana? Let's talk. You look at that 2021 defense and you look at this 2022 defense and they're two completely different units. And it's hard to imagine because there is a decent amount of returners coming back on defense. And I really thought coming into this season that this defense would be a pretty solid defense. They made good additions. But clearly things have not gelled. Was it JoJo Doman? Was it Cam Taylor Britt that held that defense together in recent years for Nebraska, and now that they're not there anymore, guys like Garrett Nelson and Reimer and those guys can't bring it all together, and they can't get a lot of those guys to mesh together. You know, when I look at what makes a defense good, what do you need to do to be a good defense? Nebraska does none of it. They they can't cover anybody, they can't tackle anybody in open space, and they can't rush the passer. Those are three big fundamentals because if you can't rush the passer and you can't get the quarterback to run around and everything, like that is such a big deal. That is such a big deal. But if you can't get the quarterback to do that and they can sit comfortable, basically any FBS quarterback, I should say most, most FBS quarterbacks, you give them three, four, five seconds to read over all of their progressions, they're going to find the open guy. There's going to be guys open, especially when you have a lackluster secondary, what Nebraska appears to have this season. I really thought coming into this season, that pass rush would be the strength of this defense. They'd be getting after the quarterback, and that'd be their key to success. I thought they'd be okay, you know, defending the pass, but that was their key. Get into the backfield. And that has been close to nothing. It's been a ghost town in terms of rushing the quarterback. O'Shawn Mathis has been, man, I was really excited about him pairing him with Garrett Nelson. But man, that's been nothing. It's been nothing. And when you can't rush the quarterback, so many things kind of, it's a domino effect from there. Now you put your defensive backs on an island a lot more, and they've got to do more to try to cover, you know, for three, four, or five seconds plus when your pass rush can't get in and can't cause a disruption. There's so many basic issues that Nebraska has defensively right now. The question at the beginning of the video was, can they figure it out, get it figured out against Indiana? Indiana is a team right now that can throw the ball pretty well. Connor Bazelak, you know, you've got Cam Camper who has emerged, DJ Matthews. This is a team that I think can throw the ball pretty well. It's a pretty balanced offense. Look, putting up 33 on Western Kentucky, how they came back and won against Illinois earlier this season. This is going to be a It's not going to be the easiest game. Uh, Could they win? Sure. Will they win? Maybe. But this defense is going to have to do some major changes. And if you can't tackle, and if you can't get into the backfield, that stuff you work in the spring football and fall camp, that's something you work months on prior to getting it right. And now if you can't get it right now, I'm not sure if a coordinator change is going to get you to that point. This this was a foregone conclusion. This needed to happen. I honestly thought, I'm glad things kind of happened the way they did. I think it was the right move to fire Frost when they did. I thought they would fire Shenander before Frost and all that, but um, this, this, was, this needed to happen. And this was the perfect timing for it to happen because of the bye week. You need to have some time to install some things if Bill Bush wants to redo some things on defense. And of course, he's going to want to redo some things on defense. Um, It's going to be tough because now you lose your head coach. Now your defense is undergoing a complete transformation, losing their coordinator. There's so many moving parts right now. And nobody really knows what's going to happen from one week to the next. Mickey Joseph is trying to change everything. You're trying to install a system. You're trying to install a mentality midway through the season. You're trying to get rid of what Scott Frost had, and now you're trying to do something brand new, pretty new I should say, in the middle of the season. That's going to make this really tough on these kids, and it's going to make, you're going to see some struggles, right? You install a system, you kind of mix some things up on defense, you're going to have growing pain. 
those first couple of games. Now, hopefully, those Indiana games and Rutgers games, they're lesser opponents in the Big Ten. Hopefully, that'll install some confidence for Nebraska. But I'm not sure coming out the gate against the University of Indiana. Look, I know this move was done to make this a better program. Mickey Joseph wants to be in contention to be the head coach. But man, there's a lot of moving parts right now. And they're, they're trying to change things. And these kids must be just overwhelmed with all of these things happening right now in this season. I want to hear what you guys have to think about this. Was this the right move at the right time? You think they should have waited, done it sooner? Let me know. Comments below. Make sure you subscribe to Big Ten Ted. I'm Big Ten Ted, and we will see you in the next one.